I'm so excited to show you what is right here. Now, this is from one of my favorite companies called Zobi Productions. I've supported Zobi for quite some time now. I want to say I've been a supporter for, I want to say about like maybe six, seven years now. It's it's that long. It's crazy. But anyway, so backstory about this company. So JR started his business. Um, it was just, I think he put out his Zobi Fry Pack. Um, it was in his house and he was like packing up orders. I think he ended up getting his first celebrity, which was big, which was Jennifer Carpenter. If you know who she is, she plays Deborah Morgan and Dexter. Um, and then he just blew up from there. And then he ended up getting like out like a, like a warehouse and then like another warehouse. It's like he's blossomed throughout the thing. Um, so he's branched off and done like different mystery boxes. And I'm mo gravitated towards the horror um, mystery boxes, which is called the Zobie Fry Pack. Um, this has unfortunately went down in price, which I which I don't I don't like because I get it because of celebrities who um, they their con prices are going up, and so he was trying he's struggling trying to figure out okay well like if I can't do like a bi monthly box where like which was it was like the director's cut which 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 I really really wish he'll bring back because the director's cut box he had like maybe he had six franchises it was you a got good two box. it was it was good it was a solid box it was like a six franchises or five franchises you had like two autographs in a box and it was sick and it was packed with like a t-shirt and a <clears throat> pin this one you're still getting the t-shirt you're getting the pin you're getting the autograph and you're getting like whatever they're putting in there recently now it is not bad he's put he's pumping them out now monthly but it depends on the themes if you're if, if like I don't buy them as much as I used to because I don't I have to like all the themes I have a thing where if I like all the themes great if I like you know two out of the three themes great like I'll still buy it um, but it's it's honestly hit and miss. The last this box plus the next box that I just purchased are fucking stacked. Like the franchises that like is what made me like buy it. Um, so it is affordable. Um, this is technically like a forty dollar box, um, but since I'm Canadian, I have to pay a little bit more. So it was ended up being fifty six dollars. And then with shipping again, uh, it, I ended up paying a hundred dollars. It sucks. Uh, but it total hundred dollars, pretty much. Okay. Um, I just wish sometimes I was in the states. <clears throat> but anyways. Um, so the themes inside this box are Shaun of the Dead, Carrie, Silent Hill, and Halloween. Right out of the gate, fucking solid box. Here we go. We're gonna start off with the shirt. The shirt, I already spoiled it for myself again. I have you no self. All the time. I know I have no self control. Um, so here we go. So this is the T-shirt. It's fucking sick. So this is from Shaun of the Dead. Now, if you guys haven't seen this movie, it's like literally, it's like, they, they, I, I don't know if it's a British movie. I don't think it is, but they have British actors like Simon Pegg. Then they have Nick, Nick Frost, best fucking duo ever. If you've seen them in other movies, they've been in <clears throat> Hot Fuzz. Um, they were in that um, something World's End or whatever. Um, I've, I've seen the movies. You have to get like their dry sense of humor. It's really good. But anyways, I forget who wrote the, wrote like this movie fucking so good like it's a it's a great zombie movie it's not scary it's more comical but simon Pegg and nick frost best ever so yeah the, this whoever did it is really good i remember that so it's a really sick scene i haven't seen it in a long time so i might go watch it no, it's so. An older so it's sick you haven't seen it mom no i have it's pretty funny it's just really old um so this is sick um i'm excited for this like it, it's a nice lanyard I like that they do like the lanyard or maybe like the socks or something. I'm not a fan of like the acrylic figures that they put in there or the trading cards. This is something I would actually really appreciate because I don't mind like, I don't mind lanyards and I don't mind, um, I don't mind this because it's horror. It's, it's my favorite franchise. Not, not like, I don't really like the saying that it has. The trick is to stay alive. So this is what it says like constantly. I think this is the 1970s. <coughs> oh, is it Halloween? Yeah. This is, this is, um, yeah, John Carpenter's Halloween. Okay, I like that part now. So, like, Michael Myers Halloween. This is the 1978. It's really sick. And then you got this, like, little, like, doodab thing right here. I'm not going to probably use this for my key, key ring because I don't trust that I'll, I ruin it. Like, the last one my boyfriend bought me was the Kirby keychain. I was so pissed because this part right here fucking, like, snapped off and I was so mad. So, but anyways, yeah. So, you can put, like, your little pass card or whatever in here. I just take this shit off because there's no point. But yeah, so this is the 1978, so it's not bad. And then, 
this i love me some pins and it's sadly i don't know what's going on but Corey kaufman um hasn't been doing their pins and i don't know why he's been branching out and doing his other pins which is like the like the monthly subscription pin that you get which are really sick by the way like the molds that he does it's a two-sided pin so like it's it's like it, it opens like it opens like this and it's really dope um but yeah so this is carrie so whoever whoever there's two different pins um, I actually prefer this one because I like all the fire around her. But then when you see the other one, that one's like just strictly like all the blood on her. And then so one cool thing about Zobie is that they etch the numbers like on the back of their pins. So I, I never do it for you guys, but I'll do it this time. Um, and so it tells you like you got said pin out of like 100. I've never gotten pin out of 100 before. I'm so sad. So I got number 37 out of 275 that went out. So it's really sick though when you when you get these things. I have my pin boards downstairs. So if you guys see my recent walkthrough, I have like a horror pin board and then a pop culture pin board. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, this is sick. I love Silent Hill. I don't care what anybody has to say. I'm gonna go into this about the Zobie authentic, like the um the authenticity, because most people got pissed because they want JSA and Beckett. Zobie is just as good. Zobie's like a legit company. Like they're part of the RACC trusted sellers. You have to you have to be like legit to be on that list. Like you pay to get on that list, but JR is not fake. But anyways, I don't mind either way. So this is uh JR's current logo and ba bam. So yeah, this is fucking from Silent Hill. Um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but um, she played one of the, the nurses in the Silent Hill, like the first one. Um, she played the, um, like the, I think it's called the dark nurse. And like those nurses were really creepy as fuck. They have no faces. And I think that they move if the light is on you, but then when you turn it off, they, they stop. Um, but they move, they like if you like blow on them or whatever, they like slash you and stuff. It's really sick. So I've only played, you know what's crazy? I've only played like... I want to say maybe one or two of the Silent Hill games. I've never beaten any of them. Um, I just, I don't know why, but I, I play more Resident Evil than Silent Hill, which is disappointing. Um, so I, I really kind of have to change that up. I'm really disappointed because I don't own a PlayStation 5, but uh, I think it's, I think the uh, Konomi, I think that's who it is, that owns, um, that owns Silent Hill. They came out with the new Silent Hill 2 game, but it's a remake, like it's a remake. So it's like a whole remaster. So they built the grand the game from the ground up and it sucks because I, I won't get to play it. <clears throat> so it's, I'm gonna probably watch some um, videos on it, but yeah, so there's that. So, and oh, and the girl who signed this is Canadian. I looked it up. I was like, damn, that's fucking sick. So I preferred this one. There was a, a there's different photos. So I'll show you guys that in a second. And then, so here it is. So this is the July 2024 Fright Pack. Again, I'm gonna butcher that name. So we'll just we'll just leave it like that. You can tell who it is. Um, some of these, I, this one's actually not that bad. I actually like this one a lot, but this one's actually not that bad. I don't really like this because it's like a little bit darker. Um, both of these versions were sick. So nice the pins, yeah. yeah. Um, I like this one. I preferred this one. I was yeah, hoping was I was gonna get that one. The blood, I'm not gonna lie, is really sick. Um, they do have another website, not just Zobi, but I forget, it's something called Ghouls, Mongols or something, um, where they put all the pins that they get from these mystery boxes, like the leftover stock, and then they sell them. They are a little bit pricey, but it's like $14 a pin, which I get it. So, I mean, the value is there. Um, but again, see, Corey Kaufman is not doing the pins. Um, and then it just says the Halloween lanyard, they probably just bought it, and which is not bad. And then Max Cave, I've been seeing him a lot recently. So he's been doing their shirts. So he's doing some really cool stuff lately. Um, but yeah, so again, if you like Zobi, you like what you see, like subscribe, dude. Like, um, I think they have very low stock now um, of the current mystery box that they have. Um, I know that some of the themes were 13 Ghosts, um, Scream 4, I believe, and then two others. Um, but it's first come first serve and they sell out quite a bit guys like I'm telling you like Zobie's been around for a very long time and like they sell out quickly and they carry up to 4XL for sure so if you're no I'm sorry 5XL so if you're a bigger bigger person then like they don't charge you extra by the way just because you're fat they just like literally <laughs> you just pay like you no know, certain companies is disgusting certain companies make you pay like if you're 5XL like they make you pay like an extra three or four dollars or five dollars on top of like the thing like at least with Zobie if you're if you're a big if you're big person you're a big person and then they just charge you for the box it's pretty cool but anyways that's my cup of tea but they don't just specify in this guys they specify with um uh what is it 
pop culture. Um, they some have, sometimes they have the wrestling boxes, which is like wrestling. Um, so there's a lot of cool, like really cool shit. But anyways, what? Why are you laughing? Why well, you said it? What? Oh, because the, because the, oh, for fat people? No, wrestling. Oh, Say wrestling? It. Wrestling. It just sounded funnier. Wrestling? Yeah, okay. okay. Anyways, We're good. okay. Anyway, so let, let me just set this up because like normally oh, it matters. Yes. It matters at, at the end. So um, we'll set this up quickly. Sorry, guys. So leave a like. <laughs> I'm just reading Gonzalez saying this because apparently it matters when you put your when you stop the video and shit mm -hmm. to like you know. Some Is that your thumbnail? Yeah, it does it. I don't know why, but it, mm -hmm. it matters if it has it all out. But anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, and tell me what you guys think of this box. This box is fucking stacked. Jared, congratulations. You did a good job as always. Ciao for now.